Today we're showing off the Husky team, where you win by doing absolutely nothing. Seriously, all you have to do is not give them a held food, and it'll scale up your team, just stack a bunch of Huskies, it's a good time. One of my favorite builds, you have to just turn off your brain and just sit there and don't do anything, and then you win. Groundhog me? Alright. I don't like it, but we can work with this. Undercover dumplings, we'll say. <laughs> I like that they both just targeted specifically the groundhog on the other team. They were eyeing him up. Let's do it like this. Ooh, I was hoping we were going to find another mosquito. This is great. Great news. <laughs> Free time, what the heck? How do they do it? Alright, get me some levels. What do we got? A flea? Let's go anteater, let's go flea. Let's say we don't care about these two. Just for a second, pretend we don't care about them. More in it like this. This is a groundhog massacre out here. This is going very, very well for us so far. They really want to send this groundhog, but I'm not having it. I want nothing to do with him. And the ant, for that, for that matter. Run the chupacabra, I guess. Just cause, give him a meat bone. Make him a little stronger. Was it three? Yeah, three attack. Well, that actually made a difference, didn't it? I'm surprised. Alright. I mean, I'm down to get you a level, if possible. Anteater's great. Uh, I think we ditch you, grab a puppy. Oven mitts, of course. And then maybe a dodo, I don't know. I like the prospect. The dodo prospect. Okay. Yeah, the snipe gets us there. Otherwise, we would have won. The double drop there. Okay. Start me here. Unfreeze you for a second. How do we want to do this? Let's ignore the croissant for just a second. With the weakness, that's not gonna not gonna happen. All right, send it on you. What else have we got? Not much. I mean, maybe we ditch the chupacabra here. Just say we don't really care about him that much. <laughs> Let's do this. I mean, a moose is really good here. I'm gonna like this. Oh, husky team though? Husky team goes hard. Hold both of y'all. And you, I guess. In preparation for the moose. Alright, we're good, we're good. I didn't like the look of that with all those ailments coming out, but we're good. Okay, get rid of the cappy, get rid of anteater. We're gonna run it like this. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay. I'm hoping we don't hit this, this manatee too much with our moose. Alright, one is manageable. 
We can work with that. Okay, that's fine, I think. Ooh. Yeah, the and part, not so much. That's okay. Um, let's go... We need to get a good unit with the dodo. Somebody that pairs well. Turtle? What if we do something like this? And then try to get the turtle to level 2? That seems pretty good. Maybe. See, the hard part with the moose now is we're not getting as many options to find huskies. I don't want it. I don't want that to backfire on us here. Okay. I think we're good. We are in fact good. Stabilizing at two hearts. Honestly, I think we just send this. Who do we want it on? <laughs> I think the health on you is probably best. Oh, decent air incoming? Question mark. Oh, he's running my dream build. We gotta get some huskies out here. We're just simply not scaling quick enough. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck? Is that all I gotta do? Just say the words and then it happens? Alright, well, what else do we want now? More huskies? Oh, we've cracked the code. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We might be onto something. And we got some moose triggers, love to see that. I guess putting the moose in front of the dodo doesn't make that much sense. Like if you think about it, the moose is never going to give itself any help. You want the, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we don't want to put the moose at where it's sitting right now. Alright. One more husky. Dude, what is going on right now? Who would have thought it was this easy this whole time? <laughs> like, what? It's crazy. Okay. I think we do it like this. We could even donut on the husky. If we find another one. That is a lot of one drops. <laughs> Baby. Sometimes it just works. You know, we don't even need a donut on the husky. It's just gonna get it all anyways. What is happening right now? Feels like we're cheating. I don't know how, but we are. <laughs> husky team going crazy. All you gotta do, remember that y'all. Just say it. Say the words out loud and it'll happen. I think a possum is probably my favorite out of all the the tier ones this week just feels like a solid like two three you know not many of those around here and then you also just get good 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 buffs i guess good value out of selling him or you don't really get that elsewhere okay let's do this do that call it a day Okay. Ooh. Not quite. You got the cricket homie in the back. How are we supposed to fight that? Okay, combine here. And I'll throw a puppy in there any day. I love me a good oven mitt. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Hmm. That's 
not very good. We need more attack. We need attack on our homies. I'll throw in a chupacabra, just for now. Maybe throw in a rat as well. You could ditch the opossum. So hard to get only one faint pet. <laughs> I don't know why. Go here. Run it like this. We're gonna get a pretty big spike here once we hit our lasagna next turn. And then we should be pretty well off. Beautiful. Mosquito stands strong, and now. Let's see. Could do a wasp. This is definitely an option. Wasp with basilisk makes sense. Start me with a level. Ooh, blowfish actually makes a lot more sense. What if we get rid of you? Get rid of you. Do we get rid of you? Maybe we just double stack here. No, I like that better. <laughs> I think this is good. Run it like that. That's fine. That's more than fine, actually. I would even say that's good. Mm -hmm. Not loving any of these. Roll me. Oh, we could try a capybara pivot, maybe. We find a dog that'd be pretty cool. I'm not really investing in this. Been there, tried that. It's not that fun. <laughs> it is not that good, let's be real. Get a dodo. Um yeah, I mean these aren't really doing much for us here, unfortunately. Maybe. I, I would maybe consider this, just because it's a pretty big stat bonus. He's four squatting out here. I respect it. Okay. Get you. We throw in another puppy. Or is it like too late for that? We can try it. What else are we gonna put in for toys? Not the old mouse. We've already done that one. Let's do like this. Then we have a better chance of trading off with their front guys. Guess it doesn't really matter this time. <laughs> but in general, you, you see what I mean? And the weakness gets us, but we get the draw. Hmm. I don't love any of these, really. Bison's not gonna do it. We don't have any good summons, it's just the rat, which we don't want to keep. Man, we're not finding a whole lot of anything. Maybe we do an anteater. Anteater, throw in a cockatoo. Either way, I feel like we need to pivot here. Um, we could roll a couple more. There's a level. There's the pivot we need. Run it like this. Okay. That's a good start. Maybe throw in a whale shark. TBD on that one. But I like this so far. And we'll ditch these two once we're able to. Once it makes sense. Oh, they got early huskies. Lucky. Two huskies? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, drop you two. Get you cooking. Could go moose husky. That's always a viable option. I'm gonna say we don't need to though. Try to get our whale shark going. Mm. 
Mm, bad hits. Definitely not doing it for us. We got the level though. That's huge. Sabretooth is a natural questing beast. We could try. I don't know if I love it. I think we do Sabretooth here. Play the smart game. Now, are we doing a, a turtle? Probably not. I reckon probably not. Let's start with you so you don't get immediately status effect. Ailmented. Yeah, see? Ailment coming out the wazoo. And the Sabretooth gets it for us. Thank you, thank you. Okay, level you. There's a Sabretooth. I like this. Don't think we need another Whale Shark. That seems excessive. Off by one? That is tragic. And then he hits that guy too? Even worse. Alright, well let's just chalk that one up to bad luck. <laughs> That feels like a bad luck angle. Okay, let's get you cooking a little bit. While we're here. 16-16 is pretty good for a turn. There it is. Perfect. Okay, I mean, this is just the team, right? This is the husky scaling we've been looking for. I still think we lead with the blowfish. Okay, <laughs> just keep feeding the whale shark, I guess. Kind of like this. Actually, do this. The dodo is looking a little sad. I don't know why we haven't found any more dodos. Ooh, that was a great hit, actually. Hold on. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. The whale shark counter coming in hot. Love it. Just eating up that crisp. Um. I mean, I guess we just stack the husky, right? Or do we ditch the dodo? Dodo's not doing that much, right? The more huskies, the merrier. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Uh, grab you, because that's just good. Get you cooking a bit more. I think we can lead with you now. You've gotten big enough. Okay, good. <laughs> you really just said, screw that bear. Screw that bear in particular. <laughs> That's great. Hold on to you. Um, I'd like to get a husky, but I'll throw it on the blowfish if we need to. Alright, blowfish it is. And then we'll just take the time to throw you on. Let's be real, the saber tooth probably isn't happening, but I'll freeze him. Maybe the white tiger actually. We win this next turn, ditch the husky for a white tiger on the saber tooth. Could be good. Yeah, you're gonna have to actually kill somebody to make that one work, but you know, let's try. Yeah, so now we don't care about the 1-1 one, one here. We just want you to be level three. And then... <laughs> Do we have each of immortality? I guess. Give him a mushroom, probably. Maybe. I think the mushroom is better than the 2-2. Two -two, assuming it doesn't get overridden. Which is not a safe assumption, but we hope that it won't. Let's do it like this. So you're gonna die, make room for the Sabretooth summons. And then we'll finish off with these guys. Mm 
Okay. That's looking alright, I think. Oh, it's not actually. Dude, the double husky level 2 got us. We need more huskies, that's our issue. Ooh, I love this start, actually. Maybe cricket too? Yeah, let's do cricket. Um, we'll be some elderly millionaires. It's a lot of them, I'd argue. That's a little terrifying, but we're good. We draw. I'm telling you, big guy in the back. That's how it goes. Um, I don't like any of these, but you're the best out of the group. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Oh, this is just beautiful. So there's, I think there's one build, if I remember correctly, that I have left that I want to f get working. Um, and that would be everybody's favorite husky build. So we're going to see if we can get that to go. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. Either way, let's get a level here. Could sell the opossum into a flea. Could be alright. To be honest, so I kind of like the frost wolf better than the flea for some reason. Given the opportunity though, maybe. Maybe we send the flea. Dude, I really don't want to run a basilisk here. Go swan. Maybe. Straight up. This is kind of ugly. There's another swan. Okay. What do we got? See this? The flea is just not doing it for me. I'm telling you, it's, it's just bad. Frost will feel significantly better. It's another one of those, like, I can't really articulate why it feels much better. But it does. <laughs> so let's do this. Drop bear is tempting, but I kind of like what we have going here. I didn't do a darn thing. Is this enough? Enough to draw. Sure. We'll take it. Okay, we can get some almost levels here. A lot of almost levels. We got three one and a halfs this turn. Let's see if we can make it more. Dude. Alright, I take it back. The flea is great. <laughs> the flea's killing it. Um, I mean honestly, let's just try to get some levels here. That's all I really want. Forage feels pretty good. It's a lot of a lot of stats here. That's solid. And you're more important. Immediately. Are we doing a cockatoo thing? No. I just no. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. We got some frost cooking. Somehow dodging the whale shark. Oh, we're off by one. Yay to see it. Man, if we get the swan just like... Just a tiny bit stronger, that would be awesome. Maybe we ditch the chupacabra because he sucks. <laughs> Go here. There it is. Alright. We're pivoting. Full send on the pivot. Go to husky. Husky 1.5. And... I mean, we're not going to be able to get another Husky for a little while, but... Maybe we run it like this. If we can get a level up, maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. Very good. Love it. Blowfish, maybe. It's a hard thing, because the swan is nice. But maybe it's just not needed, you know? What if we just simply don't care about the swan? 
as mean as that sounds. Let's go here. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I apologize for everything I've done. Obviously the blowfish is not going to work with the husky anymore. So we're going to have to get rid of him. I will level though. Because a, a secondary scaler along with the husky, I think makes sense. Let's see if we can find a husky. Level. I mean, it's tempting. Can't say it's not. You're, you're getting two gold. It doesn't really work that well with Bird of Paradise. Maybe we ditch these guys, do like a big old scaler. What if Phoenix doesn't matter? I don't know. I'm very unsure what we're doing right now. But I do think we're in a good spot, generally speaking. Yeah, see, we're, we're doing okay. Here to you. See if we can find another one, uh, another husky maybe. No. <laughs> no huskies. That's disappointing. Alright, you know what? You're not gonna trigger again. We go here. Alright, we're full sending the phoenix. The decision has been made. We'll put him in back, make sure that we make good use of him. Uh, we can level you, we can get a chocolate cooking. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a good setup here. So the Phoenix is effectively just going to be a draw machine. Or a win machine. It's like a honey badger, but it can win too. <laughs> I guess Honey Badger could also win, but not his primary ammo, you know? Okay, so I guess we get Phoenix to level 3. Because that just seems to make sense here. Go here. We could run a Sauropod. Maybe. Maybe we just do this. Cause that's extra extra cash money here yeah you know what maybe we do this we do sauropod here i'll keep the alpaca for the level up oh hold on everything has changed <laughs> we found another husky okay everything i just said ignore it we're pivoting again i know i can hear you you keep pivoting, you're not going to win. However, <laughs> hear me out now. What if we do? So we go double husky. Straight up, you're gone. Into bear? Probably not bear, right? I think we need a better tier 6. I'm talking like saber tooth. We can get a good saber tooth going. I think that's what we focus on. I found another husky. <laughs> that's fantastic. Alright. I guess we should probably go in order of strength here. Something like that. And then end on the big phoenix. Alright. Is it too late for the huskies? Let's find out. So far so good. And we're good. And we're good. Alright, this is our comeback. We're at five wins now. I mean, obviously give you a mushroom, just because why not. Bird of Paradise, sure. We want as much passive scaling as humanly possible. I don't want to have to do a damn thing every round. <laughs> Whatever I gotta do to make sure I don't have to do anything, let's do it. God, why do I keep doing this? I put a mushroom on the phoenix and now he's not going to scale anymore. I feel like a big old goofball out here. 
Ooh, and he wins by one? That's tragic. Okay. Hold on to the chocolate. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the Phoenix can still scale up. It's not a lost cause, but I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I did that twice. Okay, I mean, we're still very strong. Okay, straight up. So I think in this case, you put the Husky on the biggest guy, because it'll scale the lower guys quicker. If you want your biggest Husky to be level 3, you're going to be level 3 because you get a bunch of gold, or a bunch of stats here. This is like the goaded Husky build. Okay, that's fine. Not even a problem. Oh <laughs> baby. Maybe it's still good. Maybe the mushroom wasn't a bad idea on the Phoenix. Because it's still super value heavy if they don't override it. But maybe that wasn't as dumb an idea as it felt in the moment. Come on, I need huskies. Where are all my huskies hiding? Apparently not in the shop. That's fine. This is the beauty of the huskies. You don't gotta do a damn thing. <laughs> We're just sitting here, galing away. You know how it is. Now why would you do that? Your giant scorpion doesn't have peanuts anymore. <laughs> you put all that health on him just for him to die and become a 1-1 one -one with peanuts again. We're back at square one. Love it. Big roll? Not quite. Alright. That's fine. Full send it. I guess you should be in front now because you're getting a ton of scaling. You're going to be a 50-50 almost. Yeah, the Phoenix is actually keeping up pretty well here. I didn't think he was going to as much as he is. Okay, how does this handle here? <laughs> We're actually drawing it? Okay. And we were very outclassed, by the way. Beautiful. Maybe we start looking for some conpetos in the cornucopia now. You know? Like, chocolate? Probably doesn't matter. I think the only thing that's gonna get us any stronger at this point is trying to get a cornucopia on one of these. Just get a really high value tier 6. That's 50-50 level 3. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem at all, dude. The huskies, though. I'm so glad this is working as well as it is. Alright, cornucopia me. What do we got? You're guaranteed to hit you. The huskies are basically done scaling. Don't need more huskies anything we need less if we can get this cornucopia going. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I feel like I found so many of them and now they're all gone. <laughs> Maybe we just go for held foods at this point. Just say heck the cornucopia. Or we just win. <laughs> that also works. Alright. That's a good one. That's a good husky one to end on. I mean, is that 3, 6, no, 3, 6, 9, 12 Huskies? And we were offered probably 18 throughout the round, including chocolates, I guess. Not bad at all. Love it. It's a good one to end on. Hope you enjoy. It's a good way to wrap up the weekly, I think. And I will see you all on the next weekly. Hopefully something good, because this one, this one sucked a little bit. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.